Hey, what is up guys? Oblivious here, currently coming at you, 3.09 a.m. This video will probably be up by, at least by uh, hopefully by 4. The gameplay you're seeing, I actually don't know what I'm going to put to the gameplay, because the gameplay really doesn't matter. This video, obviously by the title you've seen, is going to be about this uh, Suicide Squad review. I've done actually, somehow, I don't know, this is a gaming channel, but I've done like three movie reviews on this fucking channel. What did I do? I did Star Wars, Force Awakens this movie and then I I think I did another movie I don't remember what it was I don't know why I do them but I just I feel like I have to talk about them after seeing it because I was kind of upset after seeing Suicide Squad after all the hype around it and stuff like that and maybe other people care I mean leave a comment if you've seen it and what you think and I guess this is also for people who haven't seen it yet I don't rec I honestly don't really recommend it there's a few movies that actually come out of the theater kind of like saying like wow I don't really like this movie but I I don't know I guess it was entertaining for the time it like like the two hours or whatever it was on but i really don't think like the story was just so fucking so confusing and like it wasn't really a st like from the okay so i'm not going to give any spoilers but from what i saw from the trailers okay like i i thought it was the whole team of suicide squad versus the joker that's kind of what i was getting because like the, the, they really in the in the commercials they really said like a trailers and all that stuff he, they were like yep the joker's the bad guy and i was like Okay, that doesn't really make sense, because Harley Quinn's, like, the Joker's lover, so I don't understand why she's turning against the Joker. So I was kind of confused originally, and then I, I I guess that made sense in the end, because throughout the movie, the Joker's not even the bad guy. He's, like, a secondary bad guy, but the main bad guy is one of the Suicide Squad members, who I'm not going to give it away who it is, just in case. I mean, even though you find out in the first, like, probably 20 minutes of the movie, what, I mean, it doesn't really... It's, it's kind of just a weird fucking movie. Like, I, I was just very confused about, like, a lot of the backstories of the people and stuff like that, and, like what everyone's drive was to do it because like basically this Viola Davis or whatever like she's like the leader of some secret CIA thing called Project X is where they the whole suicide squad where they try to get bad guys to actually do some good and then like literally everyone in the world just starts dying because some the fucking literally the bad guys are like gods and they just like I don't I don't understand first about how a god can be beaten even by the suicide squad considering the fact that Harley Quinn has no power she's just fucking crazy Deadshot can shoot really well but he can't kill a god like people you just can't kill gods Killer Croc is a crocodile he can still be shot and stuff like that like he's not like and in the movie he just I don't know and then like there's Captain Boomerang who throws fucking boomerangs and he literally the whole movie he's not even a good fighter like he gets fucked up like a few times and he he's I don't know and then who else is there I can't even think um uh, who I'm trying to think who else there is. I don't. I, I don't know. I can't really think of anyone else because the, the I, I can only think about the people who are, and the katana girl. She was pretty cool actually. I don't know. I kind of liked her, but she, I mean, she's only just a girl with a sword, and it's not like you can just kill a god. But the whole kind of premise was kind of fucked up in in general. And then like as I said, everyone's drive. Captain Boomerang honestly felt completely useless throughout the film. Like after you see it, you'll be like, wow. What the fuck was the point of him? And in the very end, he still gets screwed in the end. Like, everything, it's supposed to be a happy ending for all the Suicide Squad members. Like, oh, we actually did some good. Uh, we're not, maybe we're not such bad people and stuff like that. <coughs> Sorry, I remember some of the other people. <laughs> Jesus, I just swallowed a fly. But, um, Diablo's also in it. Like, he's a bad guy. He's actually pretty cool. And I guess, like, he has kind of, like, a purpose in it. So, like, all the only people who were actually, like, mattered at all, like, had, like, who were just, just kind of made some sense were Deadshot, I guess Harley Quinn, and then... Uh, freaking Diablo. I don't know. They were pretty cool. Those three characters made a lot of sense. And everyone else in the story just made no fucking sense. And it just seemed like stuff that was supposed to be able to, like, control them just wasn't able to control them at all. And then, like, the Joker's, like, he was supposed to be in it. He really wasn't in it at all. Like, he wasn't in it for, like, a long time. But I thought he was the main bad guy. I saw him riding on a fucking Lambo. In the, in the thing, you see him riding in a fucking pink Lambo with, like, Batman on the top. And that's actually just the... Or is it Batman? I think... No, it's Deadshot or... No, it is Batman. And that wasn't even, like, that was a flashback in the movie. It was literally, like, ten seconds. And then they say Batman's supposed to be in it. Batman's in it for, a, like, a short cameo at the very beginning. In that same backstory. No, Deadshot's backstory. And then he's in it at the end. Which is, the end is kind of like a, tr a teaser for, um, uh, what's, a, what's that other thing called? The fucking Legion. I don't know what it's called. I, I For some reason, I can't think. It's, it's late at night. It's 3.13 at the moment. So... I don't know. Uh, leave a comment if you saw it, what you think about it. I mean, I heard it's beginning a lot of bad reviews and the movie's kind of trash, and I would, I'm would i not going to say it's trash because it was kind of cool, I guess, but, like, honestly, even the special effects, they didn't really do that much. Like, I can't even imagine, I, I can't even think of a, a, thing, a single scene where, like, a building blew up or, like, something cool happened. It was just kind of, like, weird little close-quarter slow-motion fights, and that was really it, and that's actually all that really happened the entire fucking movie.
Yeah, so overall, I don't like it. I would give it a star out of four, I guess, just for shits and gigs, because I guess it was it was cool to watch. The, I'm, uh, the reason I'm, I'm so angry about it is because the hype around it was so cool. Like, I was like, damn, Suicide Squad. Going in, I thought Jared Leto was going to be a bad joker. I stand by that. I think he's actually a two... He's too crazy. And once... I, I just can't compare any... I know, like, they're different jokers, but I can't compare... No one compares to Heath Ledger's performance. Jack Nicholson was shit compared to him. And so was um he, Jared Leto. I actually like Jared Leto as an actor. If you've ever seen Mr. Nobody or Dallas Buyers Club, he's really good in those movies. But I, he, but he, I think he just tried too hard to be crazy in this, and it, it was just not fun. I, I, his grills pissed me the fuck off. Margot Robbie tried... I think she's, like, Australian or English. I, I could be completely wrong. But she tried to do this, like, this, like... Bostonian or like New York accent it just wasn't it was not believable and then um Captain Boomerang is a complete waste of time oh there's fucking uh whoever who's the other guy what's the sling slipknot uh just don't even yeah he's he's in it for fucking two minutes so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video uh this has kind of just been like an angry rant because I just saw the movie at I think I saw well I saw the movie at 11 got home at like 1 30 and I played some COD to get this gameplay for you, and now it's currently 3.14, and we're just going to end it here, because I honestly have no nothing else to say. If you haven't seen it, just don't spend $11 on it. Just wait till it comes out, or just fucking stream it online, or watch it on Cody on your fucking Amazon, your broke, fi, uh, jailbroken Amazon Fire Stick, or, um, yeah, just wait till it comes out on DVD or Blu-ray. Don't even buy it, actually. Just fucking steal it, and then burn it after you're done with it. Okay, so have a good day. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't see the movie. It sucks. Uh, comment what you thought. I mean, you could think differently, but I, I just didn't understand the story and the backstories of people and people's motivation and stuff like that. It just kind of seemed all fucked up. Viola Davis is the biggest bitch in the world, you find out. So have a good day and goodbye.